it's about uh, zero degree Fahrenheit right now, um, and I'm in my backyard to shoot the lunar eclipse. Um, it's still like an hour away from the partial eclipse. I just set up my camera here. Um, and the camera I'm using is the Fujifilm GFX 50S. And I don't have any modern telephoto lens. The only thing I have is from my Konica Hexanon collection. And it's a 400mm f5.6 lens. With a teleconverter, it gives me a 800mm lens. Uh, and I put on two adapters. One is from uh, Fujifilm to Leica M and then another adapter from Leica M to Kanika so, so that I can use my Kanika lens although the image circle doesn't cover the full sensor of the Fujifilm uh, GFX but at least I can just use the center part to capture the moon Alright, um, a few uh, technical notes. Uh, first of all, um, I have to admit that I messed up the exposure settings during the total eclipse, so I didn't really get the blood moon. Um, I'm kind of disappointed, but well, staying outside for 4-5 or five hours at 0 degree, um, my brain wasn't really functioning after the first hour. Um, so. Well, um, I just didn't get that um, as I did uh, a few years ago. But anyway, next time I'm, I will make sure I make it. Um, the second one is, um, as you can see in the video, there are some color shift during total eclipse. Um, some of the moon doesn't look red or orange. Um, I'm not sure why, maybe it's because of high ISO because I was shooting at ISO um, 12,800 um, There is a, not, a lot of noise uh, but I'm not sure if that caused uh, color shift or because um, the cold temperature caused the color shift I, I really don't have any clue So if you know why, uh, please leave your comment below I'd appreciate it and the third one um, is about the Kanika lens. Most of my Kanika lens lenses was were made in late 70s. Um, although the performance wasn't up to today's standard, but I found the image still quite usable. And also it's fun to use those vintage lenses. And the last one is the 1DX Mark II. Um, most of the videos outside, I just shoot with, without any additional lighting. The main source of light is from the moon. And so the ISO was at 12,800 as well. And as you can see, there is a lot of noise. Um, and also the autofocus struggles a little bit, well, a lot. Um, but well, there is some, isn't much lighting outside, only the moon. Oh, it's bright, but still, um, the, the camera struggled a little bit. I didn't want to add any lighting because I want to see how it performs at that, in that situation. And so you know that um, you can get the sense that how when the X Mark II performs at that kind of situation if you want to shoot videos. Um, so that's all. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. And please uh, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. See you next time.